So Jay, what you doing? Drinking a Royce Black in the mountains in Ethiopia. Enjoying the morning. This place is amazing. Seriously, it's like like the the scenery is like something out of a like a weird fairy tale. In a good way. Fairy tale in a good way, not like bad scary fairy tale with all that stuff. There's a lot of chop out here. That's where all these fields are. Down there. It's not something we have in the States. Um, it's a plant that grows in this part of the world, Middle East. I think it originated from Yemen. And <clears throat> it's a very mild amphetamine, if I'm not mistaken. The leaves are chewed to a pulp and everything is swallowed, consumed. The effect that it gives is similar to caffeine. Um, it's not very strong. I, mean, I guess I could see how people could become dependent on it, like just like caffeine. But a pot of coffee will give you a bigger buzz than this stuff. But it does it puts you in like a contemplative state. Like it makes you think a lot. And they call it Mirkana. That's after you've had a lot and it takes about I don't know, eat like an ounce of it to get the effect. Then after that it's Everybody just kind of hangs out. They usually eat it in the middle of the day. And then another salam. That's what's growing out here. This area is known as Wulu, Wulu Arkabi, Wulu Suffer. And the Wulu is, I think, like a sub tribe of Amhara. Amhara is what they, you know, the the largest um, demographic in Ethiopia, followed by the Ormo and the Tigray, um, then the Afar, and there's a whole bunch more in there. And Ethiopia has, I think, like 86, 84 spoken languages and about a dozen dead languages that no one speaks anymore. <clears throat> yeah, this. When people think of Ethiopia, they typically don't think of like where I'm at right now. I think a lot of people think of Ethiopia back in the 1980s and early 90s during the Derg regime. The uh, Derg regime was communist, backed by um, Russia. They took over in 1978 or 79, I want to say. And then the Derg regime was um, in power up until 1994 when the Ethiopian people, Ethiopian People's Democratic Front, the EPDRF, um, took control and Melez became president. And since then it's been a de democratic uh, country. I was going somewhere with that, but I got distracted. Salam. <laughs> I don't know if you saw what that guy was carrying, but he was carrying the Puchat, which is, like I said, grown quite a bit out here. I don't remember where I was going with that whole thing earlier. Oh yeah, I remember now. So most people, including myself, you know, you, if you think of Ethiopia, you think of, you know, the starving kid, kids with the pot bellies and it looks like, you know, it's flat and desert and that's not entirely inaccurate. That's, you know, that's down south in the uh, Ogaden, um, Harargez, Somali area, the southern part of Ethiopia that borders uh, Somalia. 
and it's still that way uh, today there's a lot of famine and drought uh, down there and it's creeping up this way with you know coronavirus um, the border conflict the currency change the recent government change the cards are just kind of against these guys so yeah when you think of ethiopia you certainly don't think of this or africa in general i mean there's 54 countries in africa two that are disputed and this is usually isn't what you think of it's beautiful i should have brushed my teeth and noticed all this coffee right here It's like it's just growing wild. So this morning, Hamid's gonna take me to, I guess, a nice place with some nice views. We'll see what they have there. Had to walk up to Adyami to catch up a judge. So we'll see what this is all about. Yes. All right, we made it. Here's my judge driver. Simaman Hamid. Hamid. And essentially, we drove to the other side of the valley where we were before and from what I gather there's some kind of tree a big tree and other foreigners come to see it so that's what we're going to do it's pretty cool there's our caravan you gotta have a posse everywhere you go stepped in an anthill and have ants all over my legs. So we're finally here and we got to these big ass trees. Uh is it Zaf Sintamatu? Sintamatu is Kulit Moto Sos Motamat this Bizu Bizu Sosmotamat over 200 year old tree this one so I guess they're kind of like the uh, gray redwoods the sequoias and other trees you know old trees found around the world and these ants are killing me it was fun let's go I didn't know I was going through like an 8 mile hike through the mountains I went all the way down to the bottom of there to see those trees and now we're back up, kind of. He's like, come on. <laughs> so our guide, Simamannu? My name is Jamal Ahmed. Jamal Ahmed is our guide for today. Thank you. Thank you. 
Salam. Salam. Amaru mar satan dole. Buru ni sata gize karamu ga. Apa ye? Bahula kanung kwa saram na ber. Si sartan ni la 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 ba.